My name is Eli Turkenitz and I'm working for Santa Clara County in the social services agency side. I manage the database and analytics platform for the agency. We are a large Oracle SQL Server shop on one hand and a large SAP business object for the analytics side. So actually, we're a pretty big county. We are probably the sixth, I think we're the fifth or sixth in California, uh, 14th in the nation. We run from Palo Alto all the way to Gilroy, so about two million citizens. San Jose, of course, is our biggest city with almost one million people. And then, of course, Silicon Valley is, falls within our domain. Social service agency specifically will provide help for the, the weakest segments of the population. It's a welfare agency, so you'll come to us if you're seeking unemployment benefits, you come to us for Obamacare, you come to us for food stamps, for general homeless population, pretty much everything. Uh, we have about roughly half a million clients, I mean active clients, which is like 25% of the population. Again, mostly on the, on the healthcare side. Just like any government agency, the budgets are slim and the, the needs are growing and growing and growing, so we have to be a little creative too. To, to do more or less. Our main issue is when you come to our office, when you apply for employment, unemployment or, or uh, you become a case. We have very large case management systems. And the thing is in California with 40 million people and 58 counties, uh, if the state builds a case management system for the entire state, you have LA County with 10 million people, then you have Yolo County and other counties with, with 200,000 or less. So the, the requirements are very different. So normally we end up with vendors such as IBM or HPE, uh, Deloitte, Accenture that build the system for California. That by itself is fine. The problem is we have multiple case management systems that we built over the last 20, 25 years using different technologies and different vendors and different edit rules. So you end up with clients base that are defined in multiple people and not always following the same standards. So finding Joe Smith and what do we know about Joe Smith is, is, is a challenge. Because first of all, I may have a thousand of him and he may appear in multiple case management systems. Again, depending when was the last entry recorded, he might have had a different phone number, different address, uh, a different name if, if it's a woman who got married and so on. So finding first who is who and then when you find who is who, what's the most recent information we have about this person is a challenge. Now, especially for welfare, the issue with welfare is, I mean, no man is an island, so uh, we have families on welfare actually for generations. And you may have a mother, an absent father, uh, two or three kids, and then the mother goes, uh, I don't know, on, on, on medical leave, so the kids are moving to grandma. There are federal and state benefits that the family is getting. So the child may be eligible for the benefits, but the mother not, and now the grandparent, it, it's starting to get really, really complicated. So not only I need to find Joe Smith where he is, it became very clear that we need to find what are the family and the household really relationships of Joe Smith. So where he lives with, who are his parents, children, spouse, and so on, what benefits they're getting, and maybe we're giving double the benefits in some cases. He may need to fill his forms here, and, and so you're getting into a lot of that, that we're, we're knowing exactly what, who, the, who the customer is and what he or she may need. We can save a lot of time and money by doing it right. This is why we started basically with MDM. So most of our data is in relational database. I mean, we know it pretty well. Some, some, of, the, some of the questions that Graph Database provides are, are hard to answer in relational database, or it takes forever. And we're running on Oracle Exa data when it's, 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 a, it's a fine database engine, and we had many performance issues over the years that went away, but still, this is a heavy load to carry. We needed, a, we needed a different approach. And as we were doing the MDM implementation, as we were pulling the data together and using the MDM 
engine itself for, for matching individuals. We needed a better tool for the relationships to find how one individual relates to another. And Tigerraf was just perfect.